usually when you do a pickle, you have to leave them in a pickle th for three days. That's acidic with a low pH and uh, don't they'll still last forever in there, but or you can or I shouldn't say forever, but they'll last a long time. But sooner or later they got to come out and you got to neutralize those. So you got to keep an eye on your neutralization bath. And uh, I just think as a beginner, uh, these liquid tans now are the way to go. I mean, taxidermy actually, they're making it pretty darn easy, except for the artistic part of it and some of the grunt work. Uh, it's uh, one of those things that they've taken a lot of the mystery out of it with these new tanning products. That used to be the big thing. In the old days, they used arsenic and everything else, and who knows how many taxidermists died young from using some of those chemicals. And that's why some of these old old mounts at yard sales and auctions, I don't know if you'd want to bring them in your house or not, but the arsenic levels in some of them. That's just my opinion, but and you know how opinions are. But anyway... I'm getting this nostril skinned out here, and we're doing a pretty good job on it, too. I'm going to go down a little bit here. i got a little bit of meat. I keep, I, what will what'll happen here, I'll keep going and finessing it, and pretty soon I'll put a hole in it. And then I'll know, well, Rick, you've got it thin enough now, don't you? <laughs> Anyway, this is starting to look pretty good this side. Uh, pull that out. Got a lot of lot of ragtag stuff on there. Don't worry about that until you get ready to mount it. You can cut it off now if it bothers you, but what the heck. If it didn't bother you, what the heck. But anyway, that's pretty thin. I can see all the hair follicles in here. Uh, we got the nose thin. Then when we get done here, getting it ready to tan, uh, I'll clean this table up a little bit and I'll show you. you can... Get the newspaper out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get this table covered up. Lay my hide on here, just like so. I'll get you guys. I got my newspaper. I got my hide. But, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tanning, shake up our tan. What I do is I start right here. I fold the head over the top like so. That way I don't waste any of this. I get my ears and everything ready to go and I just go ahead and pour this stuff on here. I shake it up pretty good and just rub it in like so. Uh, one of the things on these here is try to follow the directions uh, I've modified mine a little bit where I found where some things work pretty good if you but you just take and keep use a brush if you want I use my gloves and what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get that all over that and I'll, and I'll do that head area you can tell what that is you just go come back here to the bottom Looks like the bottom is pretty good too. Pour a little bit on, keep going. Do both ears. I'm gonna get some ears, and you can pour some on your thing here, on your hide. Just go ahead and rub that in. And then when you get the extra on your hand, do your do your ears around your neck here. What you do is you just keep going down the line here. Keep rubbing it in. Okay. Now, 
looks like we're, we're doing okay there on the head. Pour some more on here. So the rest of the body, just rub it on up the neck. Well, uh, hide doesn't look pretty, very pretty when you're doing it this way, but I'll tell you what, once, once it mounts up, it'll mount up nice and it'll look good, so. And that's the end, that's the end result we're looking for anyway. The in between, you just do to get to the end. And, uh, if you do a good enough job on the in-betweens, the end, end product will turn out for you no matter what. you got to make sure the stuff is it's a little cold. Here. I keep my shop a little bit chilly in the winter. And what I do is I set this in a bowl with some hot water and I get it up. and It, it seems to go a lot further too. It's got oil in it. It spreads better. It just uh, is better. Why? It's just like oil. Hot oil spreads the morning cold oil. But anyway, I've had good luck with this tanning cream. Uh, guy turned me on to it a while back, a couple years ago, and I started using it. And I, I'm a believer. A jug costs you 50 bucks, but if you can get 15 hides out of there, that's only three or four dollars a hide. So, what the heck? That's not bad for tanning. You send it tight away, it it's, uh, takes six months, and uh, you end up with uh, no guarantees when it's coming back. And that's why I got away from sending my hides away. I do it myself. I can guarantee my, my turnaround is a lot quicker. The hides are a little bit harder to work with because you, all the work you got to go through. But, I can save my customers time, and, uh, heck, you're working for money anyway. So, I'm not washing up a little bit. Okay, we got this here. You can see it's starting to work already. Some of the white areas, it'll turn white. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to put a plastic bag over that so it doesn't dry out from the air. <clears throat> I just happen to have it right here from another tanning, so what I'll do is I'll uh, set that over there. And either, let's see, they say you can do it in four hours, but what I do is I leave, usually leave them sit overnight. And that baby will be tanned, and then when it comes out of the tan, when that's done, what you do is just rinse it off and what cool the lukewarm water, wash your hide up, uh, let it let it drip dry, hang it up, let it dry, or at least let it get semi get all the water, get most of the water so it stops dripping off of it, and then you can mount that right up. You get, get your form, hang it up, get your form ready to go. Get your ears done, your eyes done on your form, and then you're ready to roll. But other than that, I'll show you. I don't know what else to show you on that. It's going to be tanned in a day. Rinse it off. Uh, if the hide has a lot of blood on it, make sure that you get the this oil out of the hide. Just go ahead and wash the whole hide. Uh, rinse it off. It's ready to go. You can take and roll it up. Let it drip dry. Roll it up. Put it in the freezer. You store it quite a while, but you're ready to roll on after that.